Ty, uh, a long season uh, for yourself, uh, both here and in Edmonton. Just uh, your takeaways uh, personally uh, on what you wanted to accomplish this year and how you felt you went about things here this season. Felt good. I think uh, the year I had last year was a little bit of up and down year and uh, couldn't get much traction in this year. I, I felt good and I felt that I got back to my game and the way I wanted to play and um, I couldn't uh, I've enjoyed my time more here in Bakersfield. The organization, the coaches, the players, everything was a lot of fun and, and first class, and I'd love, I'd love to be back. When you look at uh, your time in Edmonton here over the last month, month and a half of the season, how rewarding was it for yourself to go up there and, and have the impact that you did uh, down the stretch for the Oilers? Yeah, it felt good. I think uh, it might sound weird, but uh, I was kind of proud of myself the way I played and uh, just kind of proving to myself that I can be there every day and I can be a contributing player in the NHL. So. Um, you did that, now you kind of have to put it in the rearview mirror and, and uh, now you got to focus on next year and, and keep proving yourself that you can be there for a full season and, and contribute for a full season. When you look at uh, this team as a whole down here uh, in Bakersfield, the lineup obviously changed throughout the year, up and down uh, for this entire organization. But how proud are you of that group uh, in, in that locker room and the way you guys went about things this season, even if maybe uh, things didn't work out the way you guys had planned uh, at the beginning of the year? Yeah, unbelievable, I think. Uh, Things that people don't see, like behind the scenes, that, that that this team went through, and and we how they battled and how we battled to stay in the pitch the entire year, I think is is unbelievable. And and this group of guys, the coaching staff, uh, worked so hard and, and battled so hard this year, and, and uh, obviously came up a, a little bit short. But uh, w with every with just the the year we had, it it, uh, it it was an accomplishing year. What are the goals going into the offseason, another offseason with a, a little bit of limbo for yourself, but what do you do uh, here going into the offseason to get yourself ready for, for next year uh, for yourself? Yeah, I think uh, obviously take a little bit of time off here and enjoy being home, enjoy family and friends, but uh, uh, hockey's turned into a full year kind of sport now. You, you got to get ready right away and get into top shape because guys are, guys are in such good shape now. So uh, get on the ice maybe in July and, and uh, uh, just start working out and, and getting ready for a long grinding season.